It has been 126 days since the first COVID-19 shots were administered here in the United States, but today all adults 16 and older now eligible for a vaccine in both Massachusetts and Rhode Island. And it's the same day as President Biden's deadline to make the vaccine available to all adults nationwide. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie joining us now on how many people are now eligible in either state today. Well, in the Bay State, that's a whopping 1.7 million people. And in Rhode Island, that's roughly 258,000. And overnight, the Ocean State updated its vaccine eligibility to everyone 16 and older for appointments at state-run sites. So as of 6 this morning, there were still thousands of appointments available on vaccinateri.org. Those were left over from last Friday's appointment drop. Additionally, Walgreens changed its eligibility yesterday afternoon while CVS did so just after midnight. And as of early this morning, there was availability through both pharmacies. Last week, the Rhode Island Department of Health shared out of everyone vaccinated so far in the state, 99.9% .9 have not gotten COVID-19 after being vaccinated, which is greater than the efficacy reported in all three vaccines clinical trials. That should be encouragement for every eligible Rhode Islander who has not been vaccinated yet to go out and make an appointment to get their shot. Come Monday, April 19th, there will be no excuses for everyone who is eligible. Now, while there are some appointments available at Rhode Island state run sites this morning, the state does release appointments every Tuesday at 9 a.m. and every Friday at 5 p.m. And starting today, there'll be more options for how to get to a vaccine appointment in Rhode Island. 12 News reporter Erica Ritchie joins us now with that part of the story. Hey, Alex, good morning. Good morning to you at home. Those uh, more opportunities are available through the state by their offering of the free RIPTA bus rides to and from the vaccination sites. If you're looking to get that COVID shot, the state's saying they want to remove any barrier for anyone looking to get that vaccine. They say now is especially important to kick this off since they've been seeing an uptick in no-show appointments over the last week or so. As people perceive their risk, uh, of, of negative outcomes from COVID-19, their sense of urgency and desire to get the, the vaccine as quickly as they can, you know, I think we're anticipating might not be quite as high. Um, something we're deliberately trying to affect, though, is to increase that demand, that confidence. And that opportunity, and that's where those free bus rides come in starting today. That's Tom McCarthy, who leads the state's COVID response team. He says the perceived lack of urgency coupled with the increase in vaccine accessibility at more locations statewide, a likely contributor to the percentage of no-shows going up from about 10 to 13 percent in the last week, in addition to the fact that many may not have transportation to get to those vaccination sites. And so once again, the state is trying to remove those obstacles by providing transportation through free rip to bus rides to anyone who wants them. They will start today and they'll bring whoever is eligible to and from a vaccine appointment at no cost to the rider. Now you can go ahead and sign up by going to um, our website WPRI.com. You can also see at the bottom of your screen. We've got an email address there. It's customer service at Ripta.com. Also the phone number 401-781-9400. Just reach out to Ripta. They'll be able to arrange for your free bus ride. Uh, just be aware that if you do ride the bus, you you do have to wear a mask. These uh, transportation services, by the way, provided by federal COVID money. That's the latest live in Providence. Erica Ritchie, 12 News.